right, so I'm on. <laughs> Are we going to tell what we what's I'm, happening? No, I'm on. Oh, okay. Like TV so we're not. In the afternoon. So we're not going to tell you what's happening. Just figure it All out. Right, so yourself. So we're driving along, driving around the parking lot here. La la la. Driving around out here, driving around <laughs> our factory. All right, we're looking for houses. All right, so we pulled them out out of the the. the uh, Listen, we pulled out the five Stop. houses. Yeah. What? We pulled out the five houses. And we don't know where they're at. And we've lost them. All right, so we're going to drive into the warehouse. Oh, my gosh. All right, look here. Somebody will step out. We'll hit somebody. All right, there was a house here. Okay. That was was the yellow one. There was a house here. There was a house here. There was a house here and here, and they're gone. And they're gone. And they're gone. Okay, we can't have that music. The music. Why is there? La, 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 la. There's Matt. (laughs) Yeah, so I'll probably run over a thousand screws in oh here. my gosh Randy yeah. well we're looking for the house uh, that's another one we're starting that's a 10 by 30 hey and Matt that's on the next run hey am I gonna hit that well I didn't oh no all right, so this let's go out of here and see if we can find all right what do we got I can't find the houses let's see here one there's one there there's one I'm gonna stop that dinging you're dinging too <laughs> You're, you're, you're a dinger. You're a, you're a dinger. dinger, Amanda. <laughs> There's two. Uno, dos, tres. All right. That's, I don't know if that was one or no, not. Is there any not down one. through All there? Right, so let's go look up here. Wait a minute. I bet they're in the new building. Oh. oh. See. Hey. Oh, sorry. Four A's. Hey. Sorry. Randy. <laughs> it was a quick oh. sign. Sorry, buddy. Oh, God. That's right. I forgot about I the bet new. they're in a new. You forgot about that great, big, huge black building we have. About the building. Let's see. It'll be a One, normal, it'll two. be a routine to go into it next week. I bet they're in here. I don't know. I'm, oh, they were stuck on them. There we go. There's the, uh, there they are. Yep. And there's my garage door. I got a 12 foot roll up garage door. Can't wait. Oh, look. There we go. There's one. Yep. And, and there's the other. The other one. All right. We found them. Aww. And then the yellow one is up on the uh, lot. Up there. Home. These guys are doing a great job stuck on them. Well, we can get out and show these, I guess, right, while I guess we're in we here. Could, couldn't we? Well, I guess we could, Randy. And then there's our credit boxes. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Look at this building. We're getting ready, man. Yeah, look. See, John? See what he's doing? We've got all our lifts. We're putting all our conduit. Oh, my goodness. Spray foam in the walls, the ceiling. These are all our lights we're going in on this sucker. Man. It is going. Tell me we're not serious about building Billy, <laughs> give it. Let's see him alive. God, let's see him. He's cackling. You he better not be hurt. Yep. So here's our. We got some more trailers for the ten by twenties. These are our credit boxes. Oh my God! Look how dirty this one. I gotta have to hold it out here. Yeah. Oh Lord. So this is one two of the five homes we just finished. Two of the five. Yeah. They're completely done. Except for the stucco, and they're finishing it up. Okay. Yeah, you want to walk and look at them? Well, of course. Let's pull out the front here. Right okay. Here. And they're finishing up the stucco. I want to learn to speak Spanish. They speak Spanish. I want to learn to speak oh, it. I took two years of Spanish, and I don't remember nothing. See? <laughs> oh, you're such a show out. You know, <laughs> hey, get the radio. I'll get it. Okay. Let Ace out here. Come on, buddy. You gonna go? I gotta put my thing somewhere. Come on, you coming? All right, well, you stay there. Oh, wow, look at this green. I always pick the same green. Always. Are you ready? Oh, put my britches up. All right, so we've found the five houses. There's two out here, two out here, and one at the sales lot. It's kind of like I spy. So let's take a look at all of them. And you can edit this so we don't have the transportation between the two. How's that? Really quick, they're all about the same floor plan. Yes. Except for the yellow one has got the door on the side. I believe they're all in 
from the come in from the back different colors which I love you guys this is the stucco homes we've etched it on the outside with wood trim wood soffit come on up here and show you a little bit Amanda looks beautiful <clears throat> so I want to point out a lot of stuff that we've done here look at how clean that wood and that stucco looks up love there love it isn't that these guys yeah have got this down yeah nice Yep, that last coat is really just a skim coat mm -hmm. and they're able just to peel that off and make it really nice and smooth. Yep, so let me, there's just a little bit shaded over here. We don't have our lights in our building That's yet. That's okay, I can still can see. Can you still see? Hey, Carlos. Hello. Hey. Well, what we've done on all our trim is it was, we're just gluing it and nailing it. There's no screws in this. All the guys, they've always thought that they needed to screw, put screws into the wood to hold it on the outside of the house yeah i've got a few here before i could catch them and we filled them and we we've, we've sanded this off and got fillers in them okay but the trim is looking just so much neater i put a skirt board along this whole bottom mm -hmm. we have a transition where you have the floor joist and then you got the wall panel that fits over the floor joist right and so it's the stucco is really thin it's not maybe less than an eighth of an inch two coats mm -hmm. right so there's always that little ripple around here and I thought you know well let's do this so I took a 1 by 12 and cut it on a 45 degree angle we glued it and just nailed it to the floor joists right okay. we use finished nails so it looks real. it's just an aesthetic these are just for aesthetics it's just like if you get an Incredibox you can do this right here you can do all this to Incredibox what we've done is we built the Incredibox to put a metal trim and then you can do this later on mm -hmm. but the stucco is just a cool thing to use on the metal homes so this is a a pine board underneath here and we'll show you some other homes that's got it not covered up yet okay so this let me show you this floor plan we'll jump on this one okay and then don't show it yet only show the peak of it all right so come on in here 10 by 20 Yep. Look. Oh, well, okay, Missy. Well, I don't like this so far away. This, I know. That's so dangerous. So 10 by 20, this room is a little over 100 square feet. Mm -hmm. 100 square feet in this wow. little bitty little bitty house. I'm twist around here. Sorry for the smoke alarm. But we trimmed everything in wood, just like we do the Incredibox. This is a chase with, with uh, electrical coming in out to you know help with the switches, the outdoor lights. We encompass everything with trim, right? And then stucco. So you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but on the Incredibox, there's no wood trim. Mm -hmm. There's no stucco. Uh, kitchen cabinet's the same. We don't have any of this wood here, right? The loft, all that. And the roof line's different, all that. That mm -hmm. saves so much money oh, and yeah. labor and materials and all that. But think about it, you still get a full kitchen, Yeah. you still get a full bathroom, and you get a place to sleep, mm -hmm. you know, so. I'm gonna go upstairs, show that up yep. here. So that's a full loft, man. You could have a king size mattress up there. Wow. Yeah. And it's approximately about 40, between 40 and 42 inches. Yep, vertical height. Yeah, so the, the 10 by 20 floor plan that we came up with comes on the end picture window, two 3040s. These are 304, we do three foot by four foot. Hey, that door has a grid. That's, I've not seen that. I haven't either. It's cool, I like well. grids. And then this kitchen is eight foot long, water mm -hmm. heater under here, refrigerator here yeah. i know we had a question last night the lady said hey she would put her fridge at the end of the counter which probably had been I down there here she made and then the you put a here and storage there storage here yes yeah so me personally i like everything to stop right here mm -hmm. because if this was my home i would probably have something to eat here mm -hmm. or i may have a desk if i want to work at home and then that over there is a traffic area going upstairs. Right. And it gives me, you know, two, three walls to put furniture. 
Now, one of the questions that somebody had asked yesterday was talking about the washer dryer yeah. in here. If can you be wanted a stackable, to, right? Can it be? Yes. Okay. So you're going to have a, a toilet sitting right here. We mm -hmm. haven't put it together yet because of the stucco. But you cannot put a stackable unit in here with the toilet here. You'd have to right. take out the toilet, put in your stackable, bring it. Now, also, this width, to make this wider here, you'd have to shove your stairs that way, which we could in construction, but this bottom step would be out in the living room. And we've mm -hmm. done that a couple like that. And it gives it a 30-inch opening. You could slide a stackable in here, mm -hmm. but you'd have to reach over your toilet to get to, to your washing your, machine yeah. and do all your laundry. That's why this is really nice because the toilet's here. You can put your um, what do you, combo washer and yeah. dryer under here. And this is made, it's a tiny house. This is made yeah. for uh, to, for compactable things like that. You're yeah. not going to have a full dining table. You're not going to have a full, you know, the, uh, the biggest thing that you can have in here that you would have in a normal house is a king bed. That, I think that's that's great. A regular residential a regular shower. shower. Now you got a regular toilet, regular shower, that's regular right. kitchen cabinets. Regular I mean, we're uh, using a lot right. of residential stuff. There's a residential yep. water heater. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there's a million that's different right. floor plans to choose from. And if you want a stackable, we could make that. I mean, you could put a stackable here and washer dryer. I mean, refrigerator down there. But yeah, you still have the combo. You still have this is a big fridge here. Yeah, it is a big I mean, you got fridge. like 34 inches well, that's here. Right. You can have a big fridge there You can have as well. a, a nice size fridge. Well, you know, one of the things that I would do too is that if I was putting it on a piece of property and it wasn't going to be a rental property, like if I was going to live in it, yeah. I would have a separate laundry shed myself. I thought the same I thing. I would do the same thing. Yeah. So. Yep. So, eight foot bathroom, eight foot kitchen, almost 34 inches in here. Now you can see why when we build these walls, and I know we're wasting a lot of time. We got to get to a lot of other ones. But what we do is we use this is one board thick. This this wall is only three quarters of an inch thick. Okay. Right here. And under here we have this two by that has got a dado, right? And it's a tongue and groove. And the T and G the board, three quarter board fits up in that, goes straight down to the floor, holds up the loft as a load bearing. Mm -hmm. And that way we gain another two inches of width here oh, so we do hot. it on the other side of the bathroom or the shower next to the stairs we gain another two inches of width mm -hmm. and that gives you this bigger space in here right to walk now i'm probably with looking at it i want to talk about the mini, mini sled the lady that i believe she was in london london or somewhere around in there yeah and she said it happened not in a tiny house That's in her a, personal home never thought of it she had a tv right there and the drip pan got too full and she had to replace the mini split and the tv that was great news because here's a plug I know. for your mini so what is maintain it just maintain it yeah. making sure you've got it you can pull this this lifts up pops out yeah. clean it you can take this and lift this whole mechanism out mm -hmm. you can clean your pan and of course, there's a maintenance. You, there's a drain line that comes out. Mm -hmm. You need to put, what we, we do is we put a vacuum on that drain line. You can suck out any water, any uh, mildew that's built up. Mm -hmm. But also um, on YouTube, there's a lot of maintenance videos that you can watch this. Yeah. I know um, even at your house, remember? Yes. Mm -hmm. The guy said, keep bleach yeah. right in that line. Every once in a while, mm -hmm. add you some bleach and it will kill any mildew that was inside that drain line that builds up. Um, and two, I have two mini splits downstairs in my basement, one on each side, mm -hmm. and they have leaked on the wall, but it only went onto a concrete wall, so yeah. it was no no harm. Well, that no would foul. tear a TV up, for yeah, sure. Yeah, no harm, no foul. Hey, put well, an umbrella. Put an umbrella under it. Well, I thought a shelf. Yeah, waterproof. Why not put a shelf yeah. under there that had some type of a pan? You're going to pass by it every day, so why not have a shelf under there that has like a pan, and you would always catch it to see if there's a drip pan. A drip pan. <laughs> put a drip pan I think that's great too. You know? Yep. yep. I like it here. I right? do too. Because it's we built this little knee wall now yes. up here and we mounted up. Now like we it could better. put it there, I don't but like then you better. have to trim the coolant lines no. down the gable in the no, floor no. and all the way up. This is right no. behind the shower, straight out and onto the top. This isn't in the way at all. I don't like it there and I don't like it up here. Well, we got your approval. <laughs> But I do like it here. Okay. Right. And she got a grid door. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, oh, I'm not stepping on that. Why not? Oh, God. It's got to go sideways. Bring it sideways or something. Or something. Sideways. Something different. 
Oh my God, why do I get in these traps of things? That's not safe. Here, you need both hands. To, to grab so the door. I can fall, so I can grab my grab the ground when yeah. I fall. Look, oh, Randy, this is, I need you. You gotta just bend down. I need you. Back to, look, you want me to bend down? You say, why don't you squat? All right, I'm down here. What do I do now? What do you want me to do? <laughs> okay. This, I need. Was that hard? I need you to just grab me. That's it. Okay. Let me go. <laughs> All right. Gosh. Here we got one with a porch. Okay. Same floor plan, a 10-foot porch. Look at this. And look at the stucco on the outside. See how it's a little different? It was like, a, is it a light gray? Or is it like an off-white? I care not say. <laughs> to be held responsible. I care not say. <laughs> I care not say because I don't want to be held but responsible. Look at the swoops in it. I bet you like that. Remind you of the ocean waves? Yeah. So that one's got a 10 foot porch. Let's walk around this way. This one is going into our forest. I like this, man. Isn't it cool? So this took about four weeks to build. The last little things we had to do was just piddling around. And so what we've changed up from this run of five builds we're going to try to do six on the next one mm -hmm. is we've changed up the sequence of instead of doing all five at one time we're yeah. going to go two 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 yep. because the labor was we're going to specialize yes. so we're going to specialize in roofing specialize in plumbing specialize in the framing specialize in the trim and i we're going to try that to see if we can't somehow maybe expedite these a little bit quicker wow i mean this one's got a big porch yeah. 10 foot porch on the trailer. Okay. All right, let's okay. go out and check some more. Okay. Ace, really? <laughs> Are you going to drive? Come on. Hey. All right. Okay. Sorry, I just scratched so my back. So, this is number three? Three right here. Yeah. So, five homes four weeks that's right so this is another one doing just a little bit of sanding on the outside here's again it's a textured stucco wow this is dry now they put a little swirl in that this is becoming real popular amanda it is yeah with the textured stucco and same floor plan yep. so the door in the rear yeah they're working on yep. it and they're finishing the stucco on the inside but everything else is completely done oh my god tested it's all tested Woo! most of the windows have been cleaned everything yep now this one got? the where's the mini split or maybe they don't get one they don't get one they don't get a mini split in this one okay exactly okay there you go all right beautiful and then that's three that's three. Four over here. And here's number four so that's three that's four to five colors five too. five different colors that's yeah. right yeah Oh, How do you wow. like that color? I do like that color, actually. Would you say if you didn't? I, would you just say like, yeah? I would. Yeah. Well. Well, then someone would get mad at you. Well, I don't think they'd be mad. Everybody's got their own personal taste. Is that right? <gasps> See the skirt? Oh, I love that. I lo it's like a trim all the way across wow, here. that's a big board. Yeah. So we got our gutters, our soffit, our fascia, our Beautiful. trim. Same. Love it. Yep. We got a deal on these doors. So when we get doors, we don't know what oh, we're getting. That's why it's 32s, 36 is great. Some have got okay. this, some don't. Okay. Yep. Look in here. Beautiful. This has got to have the stucco on the whole interior. Still. Okay. They yeah. still got a stucco. But I in love there. the floor. Uh -huh. I, it's like a is that a copper barrel oak? Uh no, I think that it's like a honey something. Okay. But it could be. I'm not sure. Yep. Boy, it looks good. It's the barn doors done. I uh -huh. mean, it has been tested and ready. And mini splits up there. The, yeah. Got a knee wall. Got a knee wall. It. So we got one more left, and we saved. That one is really kind of unique. We're going to go yeah. up there. Just the color of it's unique. I'm going to show you what it is. Oh, look at it in the sun over here. I mean, it's what a day. It's like 80 degrees. Now, hey, let me show you. This is how thin this is. Okay. And these guys will take care of this. Somebody, yeah. somebody hit it. But you can see how... How hard, look how, see how stretchy it's that is? It's rubbery, flexible. See how stretchy? Mm-hmm. All right. And it's only that thick. You That's can't, all. you can't put it thick, right? No, not like masonry stucco. So you can see how thin it is. 
But look how smooth it is throughout here. Oh, yeah. See that right there? Oh, now, I, this is the way I would pick it. I'd pick it smooth. Yeah. You would, Jeff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it smooth. That's only got one coat on the outside, so okay. we'll put one more coat, and it's just a really, really thin coat. So we got one coat on the outside, and then two on the inside needs to be done. I'm telling you what, I, you just want to say congratulations to the people that took advantage of this deal, because these, deal, these deals aren't coming back. And they ever, got a ever again. beautiful home. The beautiful world, home. it's like this is a whole different world now. Whole different world now. It, you know what? They, I like about it, and these people waited a long time for their homes. Yep. They believed in what we were doing. They it was did. a totally new concept. It was. And, and it worked out. They jumped on it. Yeah. And we're honoring Manda. Everything, price. Yep. For over a year ago, everything on everything here. Everything went up. And we didn't charge any more. Materials are more. Hourly guys are more. Insurance more. is more. Yeah. The air is more. <laughs> this is exciting. I'll tell you what, we get so excited when houses leave. <laughs> when they're done and they're leaving. I actually sleep better when I know they're oh getting God, out of absolutely. here. Look yep. at Ace. He's going to drive. What are you Look doing, buddy? You. Look at you in there. All right, start the motor. Are you gonna are you gonna drive? Oh no, now that's hey, my come seat. Back here. Come back here. <laughs> Alright, let's head to the lot. Alright, let's go. I'm still alive. Good. Alright. Number wow. five behind me. Five homes, four weeks. This is the one. Last one. This is a yellow what kind of yellow wood? Did they say canary yellow or anything? It's a bright, very bright. So it's yellow. Again, I wanted to point out. A little bit what we've done, we put this skirt board all the way around the perimeter of the bottom, I which I think it. looks good. Our trim, so neat and clean with the adhesive behind it, finish nails, all the trim around the windows, soffit. Let me point out a little bit here too, Manda. We're throwing in a little bit of what our models are gonna look like. Yeah. We put a freeze board okay. up underneath the soffit. Now our models will have a bigger freeze board than that, but we're, we're kind of having fun. We're throwing a little bit in here. Oh, yeah. And it's mechanized a little bit. So we're putting all of our soffit and fascias together in long boards and so we can just pop them on there and go so we're really trying to get these out to the homeowners this is the only one that had a side door on it instead of coming in at the end all right so we centered the picture window put a door on the side let's go in and look we featured it we've been featuring it for the last couple hey. weeks all right let's go so we're inside Look at this. Come in the side door. This is a little bit different than coming in the, in the end. So just got you all have a different take on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, like we always point out, the door about the foot of the steps is normally where we're going to put them all. Mm -hmm. But as I'm looking at this, the traffic area, you do still have a long wall here, mm -hmm. right? You still have this length. So if the, if the door would have been on each side, you kind of got the same amount, even though you put it there. Right. Right? Mm, probably less, if you think about it. Right? Because mm -hmm. the door's swinging open. So yeah. now you've got this door here, or part of the wall, you can't put anything. And right. you also have this part of the, the wall, mm -hmm. you can't put anything. But again, I guess if you put it here, it'd be the same. Here, it really makes sense, doesn't it? Because if your door goes here, you're done. You can start furniture from the edge of that door and wrap all the way around the, sure. the room. Right. Yeah. But not saying that this room is wrong or done anything no, different. not at all. I'm just pointing out different mm -hmm. places to put doors and how I think about things. The one thing that I do like about this, if you take that picture right here, look at that window, how it's centered yes. in the it's middle of right this. Right in the middle, I do love that. So I do. the symmetrical look of that is really nice, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, she's got a whole view of just yeah. I love it. Clear it through. And then again, we've raised this little wall up high, mm -hmm. put the mini split TV light switches in for your kitchen and for your loft. This is a three-way switch. When you go up in your loft, you turn them off up there. Yeah. Panel box, staircase, the walls with the three-quarter thickness. Ah, mm -hmm. it's coming together. It is. And I'm gonna be. I'm going to be sad when it's over. We built all these. I know. Because we'll have it down so well. Know. You know, we may come back out with this version, but this is the last. We've got, what, 35 more of these to build, I think, or something? I think of the ESPs, yeah. Yeah, and then we'll be done with this style home. Of this style, right. yeah. 
For so. now. Hey, let's just say for now. For now. Yep. For now. Eight foot countertop again. Yep. This Classic. whole floor plan has been flipped. Normally they were on the other side. Mm -hmm. Cooktop range hood, microwave, you got your cook, you got your sink, mm -hmm. gooseneck faucet. And I love how we've we've learned to do this and we incorporate yes. that now in every build. Mm -hmm. Water heater, nicely access accessible under mm -hmm. here. Refrigerator. Yep. So it's right easy to maintain. Mm -hmm. You guys get them from Lowe's, pop one in, pop it out. You got your disconnect here, you got your water lines mm -hmm. you can take loose. And of course, in your bathroom is a stack of your combo washer and dryer yes. under the stairs, closet, toilet, and chair. Yeah. Love absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. And all the wood, Amanda, mixed with, you know, the stucco. Mm hmm. Guys, now this one was built by Mike and um, Bob and, and uh, Brand Adam. new builders. Brand new, right Brand out of the builders. pocket. They did a really mm -hmm. good job. I like how the trim looks nice and neat. Now, as we were building, just a couple technical things. This is a chase. So this is like a box. There's a board here and a board here. So inside that chase is wiring for our, our, our fan, exhaust fan or light. And down at the bottom, there's a plug that's for any compost toilet later on that you want to yeah. use. Also in that chase, we added a plug on the back side over here for the I refrigerator. For the fridge. Yeah. Yeah, great. So in that whole chase, there's two plugs and two switches, mm -hmm. just like right here. Now we've got our two plugs, right? These are these are two designated circuits. Then this one loops off over to that one, which is what you can do. Okay. But they're designated two separate circuits in a kitchen cooktop, and of course you got your you got your 24, 30, and 15 inch cabinets that are all standard in your 24, 30, and 15. Right? Yeah. 24, 30, 15. Yeah. We did have a shortage. The company said they were could not get any more 24s. Yes. So we had to put some 21s in some of the mm -hmm. homes. Sure. But, um, yeah, normally it's a 24, 30, and 15. And two, the color, I think the white was going to be way behind the extra white. And I think we changed to a different white just for on a certain orders. Yeah. But you had to because it's like either that or we we're going to have to wait weeks and we just can't wait. And you know what's really been nice, you saying all that and me thinking about that 21 inch cabinet, has been that our, our, our customers are, Amanda, you know what, 99% of these are customers. Mm -hmm. They're okay. They're good. With a it. little bit of an adjustment here, They're like good. a door with a grid or door with a cabinet, yeah. it's got to be changed up a little bit. Or, They're you good know, good. we never talk about what kind of trim, because every builder is just a little bit different in their sure. trim and how they kind of put things together. Mm -hmm. And our customers, they've always been very complimentary of what we do. Exactly, they're you know? very receptive to change. The, yeah. uh, the only thing that, you know, the, uh, that our customers always uh, so appreciate is just communication. Just let me know, okay, if it's yeah. gonna be a little fall, you know, and with the custom builds, let me make the decision. Do I want to go with that or do I want to go with yeah. something else to change it out? But uh, it makes it nice for us to say, hey, right up front, there might be some shortages. Everybody understands what's going on in the world right now. They're like, hey, if it's off-white, if it's, it doesn't matter. I just don't, I just don't think that's common because yeah. most people, mm -hmm. when you, you know, other tiny home companies. Right. I mean, they have to do, but I think because of the cost, mm -hmm. the cost of these homes are a lot less than others. Doesn't mean there's less quality. It does not. Mean but they that. appreciate, I think, the build mm -hmm. and where we're at. I'm gonna go upstairs and show that. Yeah. And then we want to talk about the color. <laughs> yeah. Tell me if you like the color. Here's the upstairs. Go around. Still two egress windows, wow. symmetrical up there. You get yep. a king size mattress. This is a up. great Airbnb home. Mm -hmm. We've sold several to some investors because you can have a sleeper sofa, Murphy bed down, a king size bed up there. You can, so there's what, sleep four. Oh yeah, totally. You know, this house is quite light, lightweight too, Amanda. You know, I can't wait. Uh, have we, have we weighed the so 220? So 200, let's see, what was it? Uh, the Incredibox, well, no, no, no. It's uh, 5,000 divided by 128. It's 39 pounds a square foot. So 39 times uh, 200. So this is 7,800 pounds. 
So let's just go, let's go about 8,000 pounds, the whole house. Our RJO in Freedom 8 by 16 weighed that much. Yes. Isn't that something? Now, the one thing is that, uh, to talk about the color, we want to bring that up. I mean, yeah. it is the elephant in the room because it's all bright yellow. Yeah. I love the yellow on the outside. I would not choose yellow on the inside. I would have done white. I probably would have done white on no matter what color I chose outside yeah. myself. I, yeah. But this is, it's prettier than what I had anticipated. Now, one thing I think would be uh, my folks, they had a yellow double wide. They did. Kind of Florida. And you know what made it look calm down or the yellow mix? What? White ceiling and trim. Yes. True. Mm -hmm. Yep. That double wide was great. I love that. It thing. was beautiful. And it was white and yellow. Yeah, it was yep. white and yellow. My mom's house was white and yellow. That's true, yeah. Yeah. I love a yellow house. I think it's very pretty. Look at Jan's out here. I want to say hey to Jan. Jan is so great about always commenting on YouTube and keeping up with this. Yeah. But her and her grandsons, look. That's what. her little house, and look at her little sunburst there. But she picked a type of yellow. <laughs> we, every time we come up here, we show her house. I love her little I house. I know it. It's just so cute. I love it. Man, everybody's working on their houses, and spring is here. It's yeah. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, I hope you hope you enjoyed the tour, and remember, this has been five homes. Four weeks. Yes. Even though this is our fifth week, we're planning on another one, and we can't just go like from boom, boom, and not miss a day's yeah. work and getting, I wish we could. And we're trying to be more efficient with our time. So now we're getting ready to start again, and hopefully we can try to see if we can get five more homes yeah. in four weeks and see how that turns out. And right? we have one in the shop that is, it was a, probably about two weeks behind, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 So we'll sure show was. that one as well. And so. it'll go out. Mm -hmm. So we won't start five and get done in four weeks. So we'll start two, two, and two. Yeah. So hopefully those get done in a couple weeks, couple weeks, couple weeks. So it may stretch out into yeah. six weeks. But I don't know. Anyway, we're trying to. We're trying ah, to the system. We're, yeah, we're trying to make it work yeah. that way. So anyway, stay tuned. Yeah. We are doing all we can to get our, our, our uh, homes that we've promise to people because mm -hmm. we had got such a surge yes. about a year ago mm -hmm. and we are just trying to get all those those orders out and thank you so much for our new model line if you yes. guys go to our new website mm -hmm. it'll have our new model line we have homes from twenty thousand mm -hmm. to ninety six thousand dollars all right mm -hmm. we have all living on one main floor we have living on a main floor plus a, plus a loft with staircases and ladders and I hope that one of those designs will appeal to you. Just remember these are model homes, they're not to be changed at all. And you can pick out color coordinating to go with them too. We've got all these packages put together. So go to IncredibleTinyHomes.com. Give us a thumbs up or subscribe to this channel. And we'll be back tomorrow with another hot video. <laughs> okay.